Hello everyone and welcome to episode 122 of ASA, my Q&A series where I answer your questions. As always, before I get into the questions, I just want to give a huge massive thank you for the support in the last episode. Now let's get into the questions. I only got three today, but let's get started with the Brick Able ASA. Can you tell us something about the Lego SpongeBob sets? Honestly, probably nothing really interesting because I don't own any Lego SpongeBob sets, but I do believe that the heroic heroes of the Deep and Glove World were the very first ever Lego Spongebob sets and they released all the way back in 2006. I feel like an old person because you know Lego Spongebob came out when I was a kid and it's like what the heck. Also just as like a fun little bit of like trivia if you will this was Lego Squidward before this Lego Squidward came out and like wow look at how bad that is. <laughs> I don't really know a whole whole lot about Lego Spongebob because like I don't own any of it. As much as I love Spongebob, I don't really like Lego Spongebob. Probably kind of shocking here because like I'm a big Spongebob fan and a big Lego fan, but put the two together and no, thank you. Next question is from Anson. I'm going to skip some of it because that's just basically a comment, but he says that he watched the first few episodes of The Acolyte and also just watched Tales of the Empire. What did you think of those shows? ASA, you did it backwards. How dare you? So I'll start with Tales of the Empire. I gotta say, I liked it in terms of the visuals, like the animation was just spot on and beautiful as always, but the stories were kind of boring and because it was so short it was like wait that's that's it it's over i i didn't really care for the barris arc i was super excited for the barris arc because i was like yes finally we get to find out what happens to barris and does she become an inquisitor and all this and then it's like she was an inquisitor for like less than a day and then she goes away and disappears and becomes like some kind of healer and like uses her force powers to heal people and, and then they go in a cave and it's like i'm gonna kill ya i catch ya oh no i'm sad I killed you. Why did I do that? It was just like, wait, that's it. She's dead now. And then the arc with Morgan Elizabeth, it was okay. It was kind of cool how it, each era was like a different part of Star Wars. Like they started off like in the Clone Wars. The General Grievous scene was super cool. The second episode, you know, was like in the original trilogy where she was joining the Empire. And then the third was like after the fall of the Empire and like New Republic was coming. And it was kind of stupid though how the New Republic was like, you have to join us or we'll arrest you. It's like, wait, I thought you were supposed to be the good guys. I, I would honestly rate Tales of the Empire maybe like 6 out of 10. It wasn't horrible, but the stories were just kind of boring. And maybe not boring, but like very short and kind of rushed. And just like, I wish we got more. But I think a lot of people agree that the show wasn't horrible, but it wasn't good. Which brings us then to The Acolyte, which honestly, I don't love this show anymore. I kind of, I never really loved it, but I liked it. I don't hate it either. I'm kind of like in a neutral gray area. The show started off great. And then episode episode 3 was not the worst in my opinion. Some people hated episode 3, like hated it. I'm not really sure why, and honestly I kind of don't care. Another thing I don't like about the show is, and I thought that my iPad was just acting up or not connecting to the internet properly and was just showing bad resolution. The show is just kind of ugly in the background. Like, I like the, the visuals when they actually have good lighting, but they have a lot of scenes with bad lighting and that causes really grainy and blurry backgrounds and it's just kind of ugly. As a YouTuber I kind of know what it's like to have bad lighting makes things just look ugly by default. I still like the show. I'm still excited to see how it's going to end and I'm still going to keep watching it. I started off with a lot more love for the show and now I'm kind of just like... <laughs> whatever. And the last question is from Crimson Toaster ASA. Can you rate questions like I rate my question 21 elephants out of 62 trumpets? What? I'm an old person, I guess. I'm 24. I mean, I'm like 7 or something. Get that out of here! We're like 7 or something! I have no idea what that means. I thought you just rate something like 5 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. You can rate pretty much anything, right? But I don't get how your rating system works. I don't get it. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode of ASA, so thank you all very much for watching. If you have a question or two you would like to ask for the next episode, leave it down below. Leave a like while you're down there. Maybe subscribe. It would be awesome if you did. And the last thing I want to say is if you want to check out the most controversial set ever, you know, to the weenies, you can check it out in the cards. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.